The topic of Prarabdha is meant only for bringing our attention to the self that we are. And having known this, it is said, Vidyate Hrudaya Granthi Chidyante Sarva Samshayaha Kshiyante Chastya Karmani Tasmin Drishte Paravare. In the Mundoko Upanishad, this mantra comes. First of all, Vidyate Hrudaya Granthi. Hrudaya Granthi is a not which is not. And yet it troubles us because it is naughty. See? Hrudaya Granthi, the knot of the heart is avidya kama karma. Incomplete recognition of oneself leading to the desire, further leading to the karma, the activity. So when Tasmin Drishte Paravare, when the Supreme is recognized, then Hrudaya Granthi Vidyate, the secret Vidyate doesn't mean it is torn. It doesn't mean it is destroyed, no. Bheda is the secret. See? Like when I was in China, I asked that girl who was conducting me, I said, hey, what is the secret of your figure? <laughs> Most of the Chinese, they have got, girls have got good figure. Not round figure. So, she said, we take the green tea the whole day. We don't take any other tea or water or anything, always green, warm tea or hot tea. So that keeps on burning our fat and uh, hunger is not too much, therefore it is maintained. So, what is the secret? Vidyate Hrudaya Granthi. What is the secret of the knot of the heart? The secret is this. If we have recognized ourselves to be incomplete, to gain completeness, we will be uneasy and that uneasiness is called as desire. And when we are uneasy, what we will do? We will try to remove the uneasiness. So uneasiness is without the marriage, how the life can be fulfilled. When this virus goes in the mind of a student, of a person, he will be immediately registering free on shadi.com <laughs> and after he gets over there and then he comes to search and get married so avidya kama karma this is the secret so what should be the spiritual practice unless we disidentify from the body unless we are going beyond the imagination of being a soul or a jiva when we come to recognize our infinite blissful self, then alone there can be no desires and when there are no desires, there can be no karma. That doesn't mean the wise people do not act in this world. Bhagavad Gita, third chapter, Bhagavan Sri Krishna says, Yasyatma ratire vasyat atma truptascha manavaha Atman nevacha santushtaha tasya karyam na vidyate. He who is abiding in his essential nature, for him there is no obligation to do anything in this world or not do. Karyam karniyam kartavyam na vidyate. That doesn't mean he is not active in this world. He will be active, but without the poison of the doership. 
therefore this is the secret of the knot of the heart vidyate hrade granthi then chidyante sarva samshayaha then after there are no doubts whatsoever doubts about what four things doubt about our identity who we are doubt about what the world is doubt about who is the god troubling us all the time and what is the meaning of spiritual practice when these four things are corrected in our understanding chidyante sarva samshayaha then kshiyante cha asya karmani this is where it is mentioned here kshiyante cha asya karmani all his karmas are dissolved because which are the type of karma the sanchita the prarabdha and the agami so even the prarabdha karma is dissolved he is no more suffering see therefore it is necessary for us to recognize that unless there is somebody there cannot be any karma and when this wise man has dissolved that body then there is no question of prarabdha karma for him and therefore it is for this purpose the prarabdha is spoken of in the scriptures to bring to our cognition that we are someone other than the body and all that is happening in our life is because of the prarabdha but that doesn't mean there is a prarabdha because of the wrong questions wrong answers are given to keep our mouth shut now up to here we have seen yesterday now 99th verse the teacher says uchchate nair bala chaitat tadanarthat dvaya gamah vedant matahanancc yato jnanam iti shruti this knowledge is such that uchchate ajnaihi balat if the ignorant people are insisting again and again balat forcefully no there is prarabdha even for the wise man now this insistence will lead to many problems so tada anarth dvaya agamah there will be two problems associated the first problems will be there cannot be liberation because prarabdha is still there So if there is a prarabdha, he is suffering. So there cannot be liberation. And if there is nobody liberated while alive, then there cannot be transfer of knowledge from the wise to the otherwise. Everybody will be otherwise. See, and then advaita matahanancha, and then the advaita tattva, which is expounded in the Upanishad, that there is ekameva dvayam neha nana tikinchana. This will be denied, and therefore. prarabdha is only spoken for quieting the foolish inquiries of the ignorant people that does not mean that there is prarabdha for the wise or even for the otherwise see friends if we keep on imagining no i have done something sin then go to hell <coughs> see why we insist <laughs> because that doing 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 is so deeply rooted in our system and because of that doership we bring out some kind of karma we have done some time and then instead of learning from that we carry the load of that karma please recognize this point <laughs> whatever good or bad has been done by us in the past if we learn from that we are liberated from that see But if we simply carry the load, I should not have done. I don't know why I have done that. Blah blah blah. To suffer, nobody can help. Therefore, ignorant people are helped by this topic of prarabdha. But that doesn't mean that it is real. <coughs> Now, after having said this, the teacher brings out a very important topic. You know, in uh, the antaranga sadhana, the inner disciplining according to Vedanta is shravan manan nididhyasana. Three things. It is not reading. It is not pathanam or vachanam. It is shravanam. 
So we have done suppose work. Then after mananam, we reflect on this again and again from all possible standpoints. So that there is no doubt left. You know, mananam is like what? Take an example. If there are four students sitting in 12 o'clock, 3 o'clock, 9 o'clock and 6 o'clock and there are some objects kept in the center. A kettle, a flower pot, one or two spoons, some fruits and they are asked, now draw this thing. This is your examination. So they will be looking at it and going, when I was in uh, Jaipur, one very small boy, hardly five years, he said, Swamiji, sit down quiet, don't move. I said, okay. I sat quiet. He went inside his room, got, you know, the sketch pen and he had a white board and such a small boy. So his grandfather was telling, what you are doing? Dadaji, Chup baito no. So Dadaji said, look here, why do you talk? Then I am keeping quiet. And then he was looking at me. And we could never understand what he is doing. And when he completed the picture so beautiful, I put it as my wallpaper on my, one of my phones. Very nice. And he said, Swamiji, but there is one problem. Why? There is no white ink. <laughs> How beautiful it is. <laughs> so, <clears throat> when we tell the children to draw the drawings from four angles, and if we tell exchange the paper and examine, they will all say everything is wrong. Because every child is fixed with one particular angle. But who is the teacher? He who can, sitting in his own place, understand how the things will look like from all possible angles, is it not? He is the teacher. Then there will be no doubt. This process is called as the mananam reflection. So when we are told we are not the body, so we do uh, go on doing mananam. What is there for Swami to say we are not the body? When he will have diarrhea, then he will understand we are not the body. <laughs> this is not mananam, this is reaction. So the mananam will be, if I am not the body, what will be the experience like? So we keep on reflecting on this. That means the body has a shape, so I can be without form. So what it is like being without form? What is that is without form? The space is without form. So when a railway uh, train runs through the space, does it create a very heaviness for the space? When an aeroplane goes in the space, does it create a tickling for the space? No. In the same manner, if I take the position being space-like, then none of the worldly objects, things, beings, achievements, failures will ever bother me. This understanding is developed by the process of mananam reflection. Not a mechanical thing. Thereafter, the third discipline comes, the Nididhyasan. Now, most of the people translate Nididhyasan means meditation. <coughs> meditation, it is, Samadhi is meditation, not Nididhyasan. So, what is the process of Nididhyasan? How can it be practiced? What is meant by Nididhyasan? So, there is a 15-point formula that is given in the following verses. Tri panchanga nyato vakshe purok tasya hi labdhaye taishya sarvaihi sada karyam nididhyasana mevatu. So meditation samadhi is beginning at a particular time and ends at another time. I came across one Mahatma. 
not in India, outside. And very funny, in the yoga, maximum fun you come across. He calls himself Jagat Guru and I don't know what is his name. And then everybody is very serious about it. And he will be sitting with a small bell. Bhagwan ke sangha bhai jai. Those who are at the yama level, niyama, so you know your levels. Now do meditation as per your level. I will ring the bell. Dun, 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 dun. Everybody is in meditation. For what? Then the second bell goes. <laughs> then the second bell. Dun, dun, dun. Meditation over. Understood? No. You are not qualified. Next. <laughs> you can imagine. See? That is not spiritual practice. Meditation begins and ends. Niridhyasana is you live in meditation 24-7. It is not samadhi. Samadhi is only a means. Niridhyasana is an experience. So, Tri Panchangani Yatha Vakshe Puruk Tassahi Labdaye to come to recognize our essential divine nature, now I shall tell the 15 aspects of Nididhyasana. And Taishka Sarvaihi Sadhakaryam. And this has to be continuous process, Sadhakaryam. Not only Brahma Murta meditation and thereafter Brahma Murta. No. It's all the time. There is no moment when we are not living in meditation. Therefore, you know, one of our books has this title. Let meditation happen. Don't do meditation. If you do meditation, you will be gone. Khatam ho gaya meditation, ab kya do? It is not that. So, sana karyam, one has to remain in this poise, in this awareness all the time. In Yoga Shastra, there is one technique. They call it as the Trataka. Trataka is concentration on something. So by the process of Trataka, we go away from ourselves. See? If you do Trataka on this uh, one point, you take one dot or some point and keep on looking at it. You will definitely go away from yourself. And such people develop a very frightening vision. See? You must have seen those people who are doing this kind of yoga, their eyes are not comfortable to look at. Many years before, when I went to um, Pune, in their Osho Ashram for the first time, and uh, there they said, uh, there were, uh, you know, Osho's eyes here, we have removed them. We are not kept. Big photograph on them. Why? It was so frightening. Because of this. Trataka. You see the eyes of Bhagavan Ramana Maharshi. They have death. So you are not popping out of your personality. You remain where you are. Therefore, there are people I cannot look at them, particularly their eyes. It is very uncomfortable, extremely uncomfortable. <coughs> because they are constantly as if, you know, bouncing on you. It is so difficult. So, by this we become extrovert. We go away from your, ourselves. It is called concentration. Don't do concentration. Then, remain aware of all that is happening. When we remain aware, then we are with ourselves. The word is not self-concentration. The word is self-awareness. See? And therefore, here the teacher says, Nididhyasana meva sadhakaryam. One has to remain in this awareness all the time. Now what is that? Nitya bhyasa prapti na bhave satchidat manaha 
तस्मात् ब्रह्म निधि ध्यासे जिज्ञासु श्रेयसे चिरम नित्य अभ्यासात् ऋते अनलेस वी प्रैक्टिस इट नित्य ऑल द टाइम रेगुलरली डोंट डू अवेयरनेस व्हाइल यू आर ड्राइविंग द कार दैट टाइम कंसंट्रेट ऑन ड्राइविंग सी सो द मोमेंट यू आर नॉट एंगेज इन डूइंग एनीथिंग रिमेन इन अवेयरनेस and in slowly this practice will be able to keep us in awareness although we are engaged in activities like a driver initially he has to put efforts whether the engine is coughing to so change the gear everything he has to be once he has become expert now he is aware of what is happening in the whole car He is sitting in his seat. He knows. I think the rear left wheel has less pressure, and there is a pull on the left side. He knows very well. We don't know because now, although he is engaged in all the activities, talking and uh, uh, answering the phone calls, playing the music, everything is happening. But he is aware of all that is happening in the car. See, friends, in the same manner. when we practice this remaining in awareness when we remain in awareness you know what happens we are able to recognize when we are required when we are not required see where we are required where we are not required are we required to give our opinions or we are not required to go give our opinions are we required to participate or we are not required to participate we become extremely alert and aware about it. see otherwise you know we imagine we are walking the spiritual path and let attending satsang for years together and yet nobody wants us the reason is this because we are leading a dumb life not a life of awareness this is what is called as this is dhyasanam सो नित्य अभ्यासादृते प्राप्ति न भवे सच्चिदात्मन दिस कॉन्शियस ब्लिसफुल सेल्फ कैन नॉट बी रेकग्नाइज अनलेस वी स्टार्ट रिमेनिंग अवेयर मोर एंड मोर सी फ्रेंड्स एंड वेन वी रिमेन मोर एंड मोर अवेयर वर्ल्ड ड्रॉप्स एटोमेटिकली सी टेक एन एग्जाम्पल वेन यू आर लुकिंग एट द रिफ्लेक्शन इन द मिरर you will not be able to see the surface of the mirror now what is the difference between the surface of the mirror and the reflection in the mirror zero <coughs> because the surface of the mirror itself has become the reflection so is there any difference and yet when we look at the reflection we miss the surface of the mirror and when we focus attention not on the reflection but on the surface of the mirror reflection disappears <coughs> see friends therefore unless we practice this so when we remain more and more in awareness the world the involvement in the world is automatically withdrawn we are no more interested in talking to anybody we are no more interested in poking our nose anywhere person starts withdrawing effortlessly and the more effortless withdrawal begins we are closer than the closest to ours because whenever there are efforts we are away from the self like those who are hard of hearing they have to put efforts so they are not normal in the same manner when our life is effortless we are living more and more in awareness so living more in awareness is called as nididhyasana 
it is not a practice to focus or concentrate on something through the mind so nitya abhyasa drute prapti hi na bhave satchidatmana tasmat brahma nididhyase therefore jignasu hu shreyase if we want to help ourselves if we want to good to ourselves this is nididhyase uh, brahma nididhyase jignasu hu therefore one should remain more and more in awareness see when there are objects we can go on talking when we come to the sense organs the talking topics become minimum when we come to the mind or the thoughts that talk, the talking becomes minimum when we come to the mind proper the topic of the thoughts disappear <coughs> and when there are thought free experiences we are established in the conscious self in this awareness the experiences of this world keep on happening but no experience will ever create an experiencer how the experiencer is created we sit for meditation and somewhere some noise comes and we become angry i told these people meditation is in progress don't disturb so the sound that is heard we have reacted and the hearer was born and he reacted see therefore living in awareness is different and living in jada samadhi you hear nothing so when you don't hear anything how will you react see be attentive what is dispassion dispassion is when objects of enjoyment are available when the ability to enjoy an indulgence is available when the there is a freedom to enjoy and yet there is a effortless withdrawal that is called a dispassion see giving up eating sugar by a diabetic patient is not dispassion is frustration <laughs> see is not dispassion therefore tasmat brahma nididhyase jignasu hu shreyase chiram so one has to be remaining aware more and more <coughs> so go on playing this one of my friend in usa he writes me now and then and uh, last time he phoned me he said swami ji i don't know how to thank you i said don't thank i don't need your thanks he said now whatever you have been telling me i was doing and now a stage has come earlier i had to get very agitated i had to wait somewhere or the, the long queue but now the technique you told me i follow that and there is no problem for me about anything now and as a result i remain absolutely cool and quiet and my wife tells that if god has come in our life it is swami ji because of whom my husband has become cool otherwise he was so agitated so disturbed only one thing we are to practice is this remain more and more aware that is all further which are those 15 factors sir you are not telling okay we tell you yamo hi niyam atyago maunam deshascha kalatah asanam moolabandascha deha samyancha drupti prana sayyamanam chaiva pratyaharascha dharana atmadhyanam samadhischa proktaanga proktanyangani vai kramat these are the 15 practices of nididhyasan so that we can remain all the time in meditation which are those 
Yama will be explaining each one of them separately. Yama, Niyama, Tyaga, Mauna, Desha, Kala, Asanam, Mula Bandha, Deha Samya, Druk Siddhi, Prana Sayyamanam, Pratyahara, Dharana, Atma Dhyana and Samadhi. These are the 15 point formula for practicing knowledge and recognizing the self. Now you will see most of the words are used in Yoga Shastra. Now the definition given in the Yoga Shastra is Prakriti oriented. And the definitions given here, they are self oriented, the basic difference. Sarvam Brahmeti Vijnanat Indriya Grama Sayyamaha Yamoyam Iti Samprokta Abhyasani Yomur Muhu so yama sadhana means what see in the yama sadhana according to the yoga shastra it is ahimsa satya asteya brahmachara aparigraha these are the five these all five refer to the world ahimsa don't kill anybody so your attention is on anybody see asteya don't steal away somebody's things aparigraha don't accumulate things Brahmacharya don't indulge with anybody. So all the spiritual practice is focusing attention on the matter. Now what is said here? Sarvam Brahmeti Vijnanar. When we practice this, that everything is Paramatma and nothing else. Be attentive. When we practice this, everything is Paramatma. What will be our relationship with the Paramatma? Bhoga or Yoga? <clears throat> so it is only a question of practice. Start blindly. See, you must have seen in our country when people go anywhere they are going, this is the temple. So that one fraction of second they connect to the Lord. They, they don't know also what God it is. See? Therefore, this is one. Sarvam Brahmeti Vijnana. So we start practicing it again and again. So whosoever comes in our life is Paramatma. Whatever comes in our life is Paramatma. Whatever is happening in our life is Paramatma. As a result, every experience of our life reminds us that of the Divine. When every experience of our life reminds us that of the Divine, we are living in meditation. See, our Tutsidaji says, Kamihi Nari Piyari Jimi Lobihi Priya Jimi Dham. As for a greedy person, wherever he goes, his attention is how much money he can earn. There is no other topic. We have to construct a bridge. Yes, yes, we must construct. It will uh, cost uh, uh, one million uh, dollars. Yes, get the tenders. Get the tenders. So, uh, one tender comes from a Chinese. We will construct this bridge for one million dollars. Okay. Second uh, tender comes from the um, Japanese. We will construct this thing for. Uh, two million dollars. Indian gives it, uh, you know, tender, three million dollars. We should give to our country people, India. But how can you do that? See, look here. We will get the work done from the Chinese. Give them one million dollars. Remaining two million dollars. You take one million, I take one million. <laughs> This is how Lovihi Priya Jimmy Dham. Anywhere any money comes, the first question is how much cut I can get. See? Therefore, friends, in the same manner, Tuxidali says, Priya Lagahu Mohiram, in the same manner, let me be reminded of the divine in and through every experience of life. Now see, 
in the yoga definition attention was on the world the pra, the prakriti here our focus is on the consciousness so this is called a yamo yamiti samprokta abhyasaniya mohu this is what is called as a yama sadhana so instead of trying to run away from the world be in the same world but now look upon the world not as a place of indulgence or enjoyment but as the divine abode this is what bhagwan says in the 10th and 11th chapter when bhagwan takes about 73 experiments or uh, units among the trees i am the ashwatha among the pandavas i am the dhananjaya among the rivers i am the ganges so whenever we are thus able to remind us of the divine in and through all the interactions with the world then we are practicing yama sadhana according to bhagwan shankara acharya in this aparokshanam now the next one sajatiya pravahascha vijatiya tiraskruti hi niyamo hi paranando niyama kriyate budaihi now what is the niyam niyam is self discipline and what is the self discipline sajatiya pravaha vijatiya tiraskruti so one has to have unbroken Uh, unbroken awareness of oneself being the absolute and vijatiya tiraskruti and i am the body notion or i am the jiva notion is to be completely rejected now this is the practice like you know what we niyama do in our bhakti shastra that we go and put on some chandana etc and then we go around the god so somebody says i go every day and do um, you know elan pradakshina only elan i do 111 100 1100 competition so that is my niyam unless i do this japa i don't take food why it is my niyam i don't eat anything in the train then what do you do when the train stops i get out purchase the pakoda on the platform eat it and then sit in the niyam <laughs> see here the niyam is sadatiya pravaha i am the absolute reality vijatiya pravaha i am the body i am the soul so sadatiya pravaha is maintained and vijatiya pravaha is rejected this is the niyam we follow now what will happen suppose somebody says you something and normally we will become angry and react but then start are main to brahman hu kaise gussa kar sakta hu immediately you will cool down because who is angry somebody is angry am i somebody or i am nobody in a fraction of second you are thinking process will begin see i tell you many years before i went to some place and i had a notion that oh i don't get disturbed or hurt by anybody many years before so when i went there those people uh, asked us to wait so my friend said somebody should be wait i said why should we wait let's go back who cares I have to wait. Means what? I am so great. If we feel insulted, we are not qualified for the truth. Why the knowledge doesn't happen to us is only because we are not living in awareness. There are two types of one e is not getting insulted because abundance in the truth. Second is one is not getting insulted because we are sharam. See, thick skin, dull witted. So, this is the niyama. Niyamo hi paranando niyamat kriyate budhi hi. So he who is practicing this, then aham brahmasmi. How can Brahman be miserable? I am happy. 
So again and again make this niyam. Refuse to be miserable and practice being happy. You have done a great spiritual practice. Rather than taking in the mala in the hand and frustrated all the day, no. Thereafter, the tyaga, renunciation. Tyagaha prapancha rupasya chidat matvatvalo avalokanan tyagohi mahatam pujaha sadyo moksha mayo yataha. What is tyaga? Tyaga prapancha rupasya chidat matvatvalo avalokanan. The world is no more recognized as something other than me. Because the world is nothing but me alone. The conscious existence alone is reflecting in the stones as the existence, in the plants as existence and life, in the animals as existence, life and the knowledge, and in the human beings as the three plus the bliss. So everything is an abode of the divine presence. The differences of expression are on account of the upadhi, the conditioning, but not what is expressing through. In this manner, we reject the world as a world and we recognize the world as the Lord. That is the real tyaga. See? Tyagaha prapancha rupasya. Chidat Matva Avalokanat Tyagohi Mahatam Pujaha. So this Tyaga is really worthy of worship. See? Otherwise, you know, I have given up, uh, you know, um, <coughs> taking um, onion and garlic. I never take anything during the, um, those, you know, four months, four days, uh, four months. Whole day I don't eat. But then, at night I eat. <laughs> that is not tyaga. That is a self-deception. This is what we do, isn't it? Ekadashi means we start preparing from Dashmi. <laughs> Tomorrow we are not going to eat anything. Therefore, Dashmi we eat in anticipation requirement for the Ekadashi is eaten in on Dashmi. Then Ekadashi goes through. How? By Phalahat. See? And there are such so many varieties. And if you are lucky to be in the company of the Marwadis and Gujarati, Ekadashi is the best. <laughs> so many varieties. And then comes Dwadashi. Actually, Ekadashi is done for celebrating Dwadashi. And therefore, last 12 hours I have not eaten anything, therefore let me eat more. Thus we end up eating more. That is not Tyagaha. Tyagaha is giving up the sense of otherness with the world and therefore we can never have desire about the self. Now just observe this. Like eyes cannot see themselves in the same manner. We can never have desire about the self. So when we recognize the world as our own being, there cannot be any desire for anything in this world. See, in our house we have got so many things. We even don't look at those things. Somebody else comes, hey, this is so beautiful. Where did you get it from? Oh, we got it from Hong Kong. Is it available in India? Yes. So we get attracted, we buy it and hang it. They never look at it. See? Because anything which is included as I does not produce any desire. Therefore, when we look at the world as our own being, that is called as Tyaga renunciation. Yato vacho divartantya prapya manasasa yan maunam yogi virgamya tadbhane sarvada mudaha. See? Yato vacho divartante aprapya manasasaha. That where from the speech and the mind returns, this is what is called as the maunam. See? And yogi vihi bhajet sada sarvada mudaha. So we have to again and again come. What is that where our speech becomes important? If you look at the word and decide, 
moon, I am not going to talk. But then I want a cup of tea. Get me a cup of tea. So, the tongue is on leave and the additional charge is given to the hand. So, the tongue is a karmendriya and the hand is also karmendriya. So, when one clerk has gone on leave, the other clerk, you, I will come calm down. See. So, yato vacho nivartanti aprapya manasasa. That which is not in the purview of the speech or the mind, abidance in that is called as the real mauna. Bhagavad Gita tells, mauna is the discipline of the mind, not of the speech. Bhagavan says, mana prasadaha saumyatvam maunam atma vinigraha mana prasadaha ever cheerful saumyam always cool not ka 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 see then maunam maunam is not talking to oneself talking to others you should but stop talking to yourself you know what will happen? When we stop talking to ourselves, we stop talking to others also. And when we cannot stop talking to ourselves, then we want some victim. Chai pilao suna. Therefore, here, this is what is called as the maunam. Yato yas, vacho yasma nivartante tanvaktum kena shakyate. So when you want to talk about Paramatma, Dakshina Murti Stotra Dhyana Shloka, Chitram Vatataror Mule, Vruddha Shishya Guru Riva, Guru Astu Maunam Vyakhyanam, Shishya Astu Chinna Samshayaha. The real eloquence of the silence alone can reveal the truth. See how it is. When I am saying words, you are hearing by your ears. If there are more than one word, they are more because in between there is absence of the words. Ears can hear only the sounds. Ears cannot hear the silence. And yet, we do experience the silence. Shri Ram, Shri Ram, Shri Ram. <coughs> Sounds were heard through the years. Silence was also experienced. It cannot be heard through the ears. So that which is supporting both the presence of the sounds through the equipment of ears and that which is supporting the absence of the sound without the requirement of any instrument is present both in the presence of the sound and in the absence of the sound and therefore it is beyond the presence and the absence. Therefore, yupacho yasva nivartante tad vaktum kena shakyate How will you talk about this reality which is beyond the scope of the words? And prapancho yadi vaktavya sopi shabda vivarjitaha and if you want to talk about the world, whatever you talk about the world, it is a bluff. If you remember, I make this statement again and again, bluff sessions. Because about Paramatma, whatever you talk he is wrong, because he is beyond the scope of the words. And about the world, whatever you talk is wrong, because the world is not real. It is just an appearance. See? 
Shakti. Suppose you go on talking about the reflection of the moon in the waters. Oh, it is so beautiful. It was so nice. Is it true? When the reflection itself is not real, anything you talk about the reflection cannot be true. It's just an appearance. See, friends. And therefore, whatever we talk is a bluff. <coughs> so what is to be done? Mountset.com Dakthowning.com Yato vacho nivartanti aprapya manasasah yen maunam yogi virgam yamtad bhaje sarvada budaha vacho yasma nivartanti tad vaktum kena shakyate prapancho yadi vaktavyaha saha api shabda vivarjita But the world also we cannot say anything. Anything you say is wrong. If you see all the things which were supposed to be very good few years before, today they are outdated and useless. Now, iti vatat bhavet maunam satam sahaja sanjitam. Now the third understanding about the maunam is what? That satam, the wise people, sahaja sanjitam, the one who is at home, at peace in every moment of his life. He is practicing. He has no complaints. He has no achievements. He has no failures. He may be looking, engaged in many activities, doing so many things, and yet, he is at peace with himself. See? Bhagavan says in Gita, Sukha dukhe same krutva labha labho jaya jayo. Tato yuddha yujjaswa naivam papam uvapsasi. Mind remains undisturbed <coughs> under all conditions. That is called as the sahaja sthiti, the effortless abidance in the self as maunam. And now the teacher gives a big bang. Gira maunam tu balanam prayuktam brahmavadivihi. Gira maunam, not talking by the speech. Put a you know, cloth here and on that writing. Mauna is in progress. Gira maunam tu balanam, bacho ka khele. Hey friends, real mauna is stop talking to yourself. Stop talking. The more you will practice it, you will come to recognize how deep this understanding is. See? Knowledge is mind. Knowledge is pure consciousness. That knowledge where duality appears is mind. That knowledge where duality disappears is pure consciousness. It is something like surface of the sea extremely agitated. You go into the depth of the sea, no waves are disturbing you. In the same manner, Surface level knowledge creates agitations, samsar. And when we dive deep in the same knowledge as in deep sleep, where the samsar goes? See, get this point. If you have got aquarium at your home, you see surface of the water level because the bubbles constantly move. And if we put something floating and on that surface of the water which is constantly bubbling, it will keep on moving, 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 moving. But the fish which goes little deep into the water, there are no waves, no disturbance. Exactly the same way as nothing happens to the water when the fish moves inside. Can you imagine? 
if the fish is moving inside and the water gets thickening, hey, it won't do so. There will be agitations everywhere. It is not. In the same manner, gira maunam tu bala naam, simply keeping the mouth shut and inside there are volcanoes. So, gira maunam tu bala naam, prayuktam brahma vadivihi. The wise people say, that is not this way. No, I don't talk. Why don't you talk? Talk normally. But that is also required. One of my experience I tell you. There was one lady who is to come with her husband and bring food for me. On a regular basis. Once in a you know, week or 10 days, 15 days. They have to have one roaster and they will bring when this lady will bring food, she will never talk. And those who don't talk, I like them. So she will come and give me the food and all that. One day I did a mistake. I spoke to her husband. Hey, mama doesn't talk. No, her guru has given her diksha and told her to observe mama. So we don't know when she will start talking, when she doesn't talk. But we understood. Sometimes she doesn't talk for 15 days. Sometimes she doesn't talk for one month. We don't know. Next time she came, she started talking. And not a pop 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 Such people, you know, to emphasize their point, suppose you want to say something, they will increase their pitch. No, my kya kai? Other person also wants to talk, but they don't allow anybody. Very strong personalities. So, after she was talking there, she said, uh, Swamiji, can you give me some advice? My Guru has told me to observe Mauna. Any number of days, try more and more. 10 days, 15 days, one month like that. What do you advise me to do? I said, okay, Mama. No, uh, one more thing I want to tell. She will not allow me to talk. She will ask the question, and when I want to reply, she will again start something. Then I observe Mauna. <laughs> And then her husband told, you are asking Swamiji question and even he replies, you don't allow him to talk. Okay, okay, you always, uh, you know, point out my mistakes. Okay, Swamiji, now you talk, I will not talk. Do you think she was listening to me? <laughs> and then I said, okay, now are you receiving, don't become agitated. Your guru must be great. Please, when you talk to him, give my sashtang then now to him. He must be great, Mahatma. Yes, Swamiji is really great. So I said, I can only simply tell you, extend the guidance given by your Guru, observe Mauno all the time in your whole life. Therefore, that Mauno is only a kind of, you know, prophylactic. It is not curative. Adavante cha madhe cha jano yasminna vidyate yene dam satadam vyapta sadhesho janas pradaha. Now where should we go and do meditation? Which should be the place? Shuchau deshe pradishthapya sthiramasana matmanaha. Go to a pure place. There is nobody like that. This is according to yoga. Here the teacher says, Adav ante cha madhe cha jana yasminna vidyate. That in which the world doesn't exist in the beginning, in middle or the end. See? Now what is that in which the world doesn't exist? He is our own conscious blissful self. Now vidyate, yena idam satatam vyaptam. And that which is permeating everything, which is limited, finite, but which is unlimited and infinite. That reality is the real Desh. See, friends. Desha is the place, space. Therefore, I told you the three spaces. One space is the Bhutakash. Second space is the Chittakash. And the third space, space is the Chidakash. So, the Chidakash, where? Other than the absolute conscious self, nothing else is. That is the real place where we practice our spiritual sadhana. Means what? 
don't get involved in the thoughts chitta kash deleted don't get involved in the worldly objects the bhuta kash is deleted in this manner this is called as adavanti cha madhya cha jano yasminne vidyate yena idam satatam vyaptam sadesha vyana smruta that is what is the meaning of desha desh is not india or the america or the himalayas or inside the gufa see that is not these are all external uh, non essentials now what is the call we should do the meditation early in the morning brahma murta time so see the definition of time what exactly is meant by time kalanat sarva bhutanam brahmaadi nam nimeshatah काल शब्द निर्दिष्ट यखंडानंद अद्वय नॉर्मली वेन वी से टाइम वॉट वी अंडरस्टैंड इज द मेजरमेंट ऑफ टाइम आई सेट फॉर मेडिटेशन फॉर लॉन्ग लॉन्ग पीरियड ऑफ थ्री सेकेंड्स और दैट महात्मा सेट फॉर मेडिटेशन ई टोल्ड Hey, there are make you know hot water for my bath, and while to- talking itself, he got into the meditation samadhi. <clears throat> and the disciple was heating the water. Recently, I was in um, Gujarat on the banks of Narmada. There, this somebody was telling me, "How many you know such and such things?" Then you know, he told the disciple to heat the water for taking bath. Then. the disciple was heating in the water putting you know the wood in the fireplace and some um, big pot is kept and he is guru while talking to him he went into samadhi so the disciple said we don't know when will he come he kept on burning the fuel adding the water burning the fuel continued for two days and after two days when this man got out of the samadhi he said have you not created uh, made the hot water is give quickly he said what quickly two days you already wasted two days so a great achievement sitting for two days unaware of this world see friends do not get carried away by this time is not this what is time kalanat सर्वूतानाम ब्रह्मादीना निमेशतः दैट बिकॉज ऑफ विच मॉडिफिकेशन हैपन इन द होल वर्ल्ड दैट इज टाइम भगवान से जन गीता कालोस्मी लोक क्षयकृत प्रवृद्ध आई एम द टाइम हु इज रिस्पॉन्सिबल फॉर ब्रिंगिंग ऑल चेंजेस इन एवरी थिंग इन दिस वर्ल्ड सी इफ ए फ्रूट ऑफ मैंगो फॉल्स ऑन द ग्राउंड and there is nobody to attend or eat it or pick it up then by the his own process of disintegration the five great elements out of which the fruit was formed is slowly disintegrated and returned back to the source so who does that that is the principle of time when we are living who is responsible for changes that are happening in our body see kalanat that principle because of which modifications happen in the matter that principle is called as kal so kalana sarva bhutanam brahmadinam and this principle of modification called as the kal is affecting everything and being starting from a blade of grass up to the brahma ji who created this world see friends therefore kalana sarva bhutana brahma adi naam samdimeshatah kal shabdena nirdishtah akhanda ananda advaya this akhanda unbroken blissful reality is called as the kal because of whom every modification is possible and that which doesn't undergo any modification that is the meaning of kal this is what bhagwan says kalospi loka kshay krut pravrutta the water supports the ocean the waves the icebergs the trees 
the sap, everything. See, and all the changes are happening because of that. Similarly, by the word Kala is meant this. And therefore, when should we do meditation? We should do meditation by remaining aware of all the changes and recognizing oneself to be the changeless substratum. You have caught the principle of time. We mistake the measurement of time for the principle of time. One mile, two miles, one inch, six inches. This is the measurement of space. It is not space. One liter, five liters. It is a measurement of liquid. It is not the liquids. See, friends. And therefore, this is the meaning of Kala. Sukhe naiva bhavedyasmin adhastram brahma chintanam asanam tad vijaniyat netarat sukhanasanam. What is the meaning of asanam? Sukhe na bhavedyasmin adhastram brahma chintanam. That experience or that position of our life or disposition, when we are effortlessly able to abide in the Brahmananda, that is called as the Sukhasanam. And the teacher says, Na itara sukha nashanam. The other asanas are destroyer of the happiness. <laughs> oh God, I have done this Padmasana, now it is not opening. <laughs> or else, you know, we sit, you know, in the Vajrasana, and then pain here, pain there. And thereafter, I used to do, now I cannot do anything. Why? Overdone. See, many people who overdo this yoga, they lose their factory settings. Their body, their life becomes light. Because there is a free download, you keep on downloading every damn thing on your mobile phone and mobile phone becomes angle. Kya ho gaya? What is to be done? Revert back to factory settings. Delete everything, you will be all right. In the same manner, we have corrected so much unwanted things and then we get lost. Therefore, Sukhena Brahma Chintanam Bhavati Yasmaj. Wherever we are able to be effortlessly contemplative on the self, that is called as the Asanam Itarat Sukhanasanam. You will see Bhagavan Ramana Maharshi. You see his pictures. None of his picture tell you an ideal posture. See? He sits like a question mark. His answer is not perfect. How can he be real? <coughs> you see Bhagavan Ram Vishnu Paramahamsa. What is this asana? Ashtarya asana. See? You see our uh, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. There is no asana. He is like this. Hare Rama. Do you mean that he was not in tune with the divine? Their physical asana is not asana. Posture is not asana. Even Patanjali has never said posture is asana. Patanjali very clearly says, Sthira Sukham asana. Your bliss is steady. Steady bliss is asana. Sthira is an adjective. Sukha is a noun. So sthira sukham, steady bliss is called as asanam. See? But asanam we mistake as the posturam. And then we keep on twisting the body but never straighten the mind. Therefore, asanam tad vijaniyat na idras sukha nasanam. That is what is called as the real asanam, not the other one where we suffer silently. And then there is a competition. How long somebody asked me in Brazil I was there. Not Brazil, Portugal. That uh, Mahatma is there. He was so much, you know, here also he invited me. I wanted to go there. We had a meeting. And uh, 
we must make at least one yoga day for the whole world like there is a day for everything women's day children's day uh, stupid people's day wise people's day why not a yoga day so all of you must work now he is a uh, you know produced in the shivananda ashram what shivananda ashram has done is unparalleled now he goes and teaches you should do something so the swami ji was there. what we have done we have produced you <laughs> and you teach us what we should do see no 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 so actually when terrorism can be global why not yoga so he asked me isn't it then i said yes we should go with a gun do shivasan <laughs> मार दूंगा मैं तू वेर यू आर कंपेरिंग कंपेयरिंग इफ टेररिज्म कैन बी ग्लोबल वाई नॉट योगा बी ग्लोबल दिस ऑब्सेशन इज नॉट योगा एंड व्हाट इज योगा दे टॉक अबाउट हाउ मच मोर यू कैन ट्विस्ट योर बॉडी एंड हाउ लॉन्ग यू कैन स्माइलिंगली सफर दे बी डूइंग द भुजंग suffering see you are suffering but not allowed to cry there cannot be more suffering <laughs> if you are suffering if you cry at least it is a vent you you know ease out but you are suffering don't cry don't don't cry that is not ashram friends it is a stupid thing siddham yat sarva bhutadi vishwadhishthanam avyam yasmin siddha sama समाविष्टा तद्वै सिद्धासनम विदुः न सिद्धासन इज सेड व्हाट इज इट सिद्धम यस सर्वभूतादि विश्व अधिष्ठानम अभयम दैट व्हिच इज अल्टीमेटली डिटरमिनड टू बी द सब्सटैंटम ऑफ द टोटल वर्ल्ड क्रिएटेड दैट इज द रियल वस्तु द रियलिटी एंड अबाइडेंस इन दैट रियलिटी इज सिद्धासन सी So, Siddham yes, Sarva Bhuta di Vishwa Adhishthana Mavyam, which is ultimately proved that there is but one absolute reality which is supporting the total appearance of the multiplicity or the plurality. Yes, in Siddha Samavista, so the one who is abiding in the substratum of the total world, he is abiding or living in the Siddha Sanam. otherwise you take this leg here this leg there and then um, suffer silently ultimately please remember the first step in your meditation is getting freedom from body identification see in our uh, last retreat in uh, malsar we had you know dakshina murti stotra 11 session and four meditation sessions four days in those four days meditation session there was never a mention of anything posture pranayam or japa nothing because the whole mind was so much self oriented that you sit there only five seven sentences and everybody disappears <coughs> doesn't matter whether you are sitting in the chair or you are on the uh, asan on the floor it makes no difference <coughs> because ultimately you have to get freedom from the body identification like when a person is really really sleepy it doesn't matter what mattress is and when there is no sleep then this pillow that pillow and then he said i think i should switch on the fan you get a little and no i think it's too cold you know? i think i should open the window no master to that because there is no sleep all the cries and when you are really tired even in the satsang <laughs> <laughs> so there is no bed required even in the padmasana 
in the same manner when we are intensely longing for the truth. Meditation, Samadhi, these are just happening. Like when you have the cow, the cow dung happens. You don't have to do anything. It will happen. In the same manner, when we are abiding in the self, meditation happens. And this meditation is like a cow dung. The truth is, we are abiding in the milk. We are abiding in the absolute. Therefore, all the Siddhis, etc., they are never glorified by those who are walking the spiritual path. Remaining things will take tomorrow's service. Om Purnamadaha Purnamidam Purnahat Purnamudachate Purnasya Purnamadaya Purnameva Vashishate Om Shanti 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 Hari Om Shri Guru Yodamaha Hari Om